very good morning to everybody today we will be discuss classical electrodynamics unit second of msc physics semester past and the topics are multiple expansion of the energy of a charge distribution in electric field and electrostatics of the portable media so we start for the energy of the multipole expansion as per we know that the when a localized field distribution described by the volume charge density rho x is placed in an external potential phi x then the electrostatic energy of the system is given by the w and that is given w equal to integration of the rho x phi x dv if phi x the net not constant but very slowly over the region then the potential can be expanded in the form of the taylor series expansion so phi x is what we have calculated phi x equal to phi x at x equal to 0 plus the x dot del of the phi or the can say gradient of the phi at x equal to 0 plus 1 by 2 sigma i sigma j x i x j del square phi by del x del x j at x equal 0 and so on. So this total potential is can be written in terms of the 0th order, 1st order and 2nd order or you can write V0R, V1R plus V2R and dot dot and so other one also where the VNR is proportional to the constant into the charge divided by the distance or multiplied by the size of the distribution by the distance of the particles by the relations between the electric field and the potential we know very well that e equal to minus del of the phi we can obtain this equation the phi x potential at the x point equal to phi 0 minus x dot e 0 minus 1 by 2 sigma i sigma z x i x j del e z by del x i at the 0 g but for the external field del dot e equal to 0 as per we have calculate the curl of the electric field is 0 because electric field is the conservative field so we can add or we can subtract a term related with the del dot e and that is we have choose this is 1 by 6 r square replied by del dot e 0 so the potential at the x phi x equal to phi 0 minus x e 0 minus 1 by 2 sigma i sigma j x i x j del e z by the del x i minus 1 by 6 r square del of the e 0 why we choose this value because we want we know very well that it is the should be the quadrupole moment so the phi 0 minus x e 0 minus 1 by 6 sigma i sigma j 3 x i x j minus r square del i j del of the e j 0 by the del x i so this internal second terms third term sorry is related with the, uh, the quadrupole moments so we can obtain this one the potential or we can see the energy related with this potential using equation first we can write w or the u equal to integration of the rho x phi 0 minus x e 0 minus 1 by 6 sigma i sigma j 3 x i x j minus r square del i j del e z by del x i 0 and the all integrated over the dv so u can be that is potential energy phi 0 integration of the rho x dv minus e 0 because it is constant rho x x dv minus 1 by 6 sigma sigma j del e j 0 del x i rho x 3 x i x j minus r square del i j dv so using this one we can write the potential energy net electrostatic energy of the multiple expansion can be written as the first term is related with the charge total charge q equal to integration of rho x dv total charge second terms in bracket in the integration that is dipole moments rho x x dv and third terms quadruple moment q i z rho x 3 x i x j minus r square del i j dv so the potential energy of the system equal to u equal to q phi 0 minus the p dot e minus 1 by 6 sigma i sigma j q i j del e j by del x equal to 0 and so on 
so we can conclude now the energy expansion so that the each terms represent an interaction between the first term charge with the potential second terms dipole with the external field then the third term quadrupole moment with the gradient of the electric field and so on so these are the interaction produce the net energy example that is used mostly in the nuclear physics atomic nuclei can possess electric dipole moments and their magnitudes and the sign refer to the nature of the forces between the proton and neutron and the shape of the nucleus because this provides the interaction between these two and the second the quadrupole moment of the nuclear state is q j m alpha 1 by equal to integration of the 3 z square minus r square rho m j m alpha d v where j is the quantum number of the total angular momentum m is its pro projection of this j along the z axis and the alpha is projection j along the other uh, axis that is denoted by the alpha so the nuclei for the same value of j have the different values of the m provides a different value of the quadrupole moment q j m alpha provides the d journey in the m values may be have the excited will be removed by the quadrupole moment with the gradient of the external field this one del e g by the del x i so this results so that the net energy of this system is due to the interaction of the charge with the potential interaction of the dipole moment with the electric field and the interaction of the quadrupole moment with the gradient of the electric field so this is all about this energy of the multiple expansion now we switch over to the next topic that is electrostatic of the ponderable media ponderable media means that is we have to measure we have to calculate this one and for this is the macroscopic level so we have so elementary treatment of the electrostatic with the ponderable media we can use conductors where the free charge carriers are present because in conductors there are the many free charge carriers are there the maxwell equations are used to calculate the potential electric field for this one and for the macroscopic field media large but not large not particles number of the particles curl of the electric field is zero because we know very well that for the conservative field it is zero so del cross e micro equal to zero for the average we can write del cross e equal to zero so if a electric field is applied to the dielectric media made up to the large number of the atoms or the molecules the charges are to bound each other this respond the applied field means on applying the external electric field that each dipoles present in, in the media will be the response and provides uh, the different characters when the electric field is zero the molecules charge density is distributed and this results due to this perturbation this results the multiple moment of the each molecule will have the different from that was the absence of the field because now the in presence of the field each type element is produced there it is the already present permanent type element that get the values of it increase the value of it and it is the unpolar that it will get the polarized so it will be changes its magnitude as well as the directions so if there is no field then the for averaged value over the many molecules multiple moment is zero on apply external field there are the dipoles are present quadrupole moments are there octopoles may be also produced then the electric polarization vector p that is dipole moment perfect volume capital p is used for the polarization vector and the small p is used for the dipole moment of a single molecule so the p x capital p x equal to the sigma i n i that is average value of the p i where the p x is the electric polarization vector at the uh, position x and the n i is the average number of the molecules per unit volume at the point x and the p i that is the small p i dipole moment of the ith class of the molecules in the media if the molecules have a net charge e i and in the addition of their all macroscopic axis p 
three charts then the charge density at the point x base can be written as the rho x dice equal to the sigma i n i p e i plus the rho x s or we can write this is equal to the sigma i n i average of the e i plus or rho p d here rho p d is the excess that is the p d charge density already present in the media and that is due to the extra electric field is produced the first term on the right hand side where e i average of this one the total charge per atomium and the rho f is the p d charge density so it is difficult to define the potential in electric field due to the all types of the charge description all p d charge dipoles quadrupole moment octopoles and so on so now we can consider only the dipole just because the maximum role is produced by directly by the dipoles so we have to use dipole success so we define as the new quantity polarization at the dipole moment per unit volume p equal to the small p by the v that is dipole moment per unit volume and the p already we have write like this one so for the pre charge only the e i equal to 0 because then there is no dipoles are there so the rho x i equal to the rho f now to calculate the potential at the point p due to the the bar dipoles in the pre charge so the potential at the point p in this given figure we have to write this the observation point at the at the x and the source point at the x dash the strength between these two is the x minus x dash so the del phi due to the small volume element del v is del phi is the potential due to the pre charge and potential due to the dipoles so we can write del phi at the x x dash equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not rho x dash dv dash by r plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon p vector r vector r is cube divided by dv dash for entire space we can write phi integrate of it so the phi x x dash 1 by 4 pi epsilon not integration of the rho x dash dv dash r divided by r the plus 1 by 4 plus not p x dash dot r vector r cube dv here r equal to x minus x dash so this potential is 1 by 4 plus not rho x dash dv dash divided by the x minus x dash plus 1 by 4 plus not p x dash x minus x dash divided by x minus x dash called cube dv dash we have used some identities we know that del of the 1 by r equal to minus r vector by the r cube so in place of this one we can write del of the 1 divided by x minus x dash equal to minus of the x minus x dash vector divided by the magnitude of the x minus x dash cube so using these two equations we can write phi dash equal to phi dash of the 1 divided by x minus x dash equal to the minus of the del of 1 divided by x minus x dash and this already we have calculated the value is equal to the plus x minus x dash vector divided by the x minus x dash power cube. So the potential at the x phi x x dash equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught integration over the rho x dash dv dash divided by the x minus x dash magnitude plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught p x dash del dash of the 1 divided by r minus r dash of the dv dash. Now use an identity again del of the s is the square a is the vector quantity so del of the these two is you can write scalar dot del dot a vector plus a vector dot del dot s so the del dash equal to the p x dash by the x minus x dash can be written equal to 1 divided by x minus x dash del dash p x dash plus the p x dash multiplied by the del dash of the 1 divided by x minus x dash so on rearranging we can write p x dash dot del dash 1 divided by x minus x dash and the del dash equal to the p x dash divided by x minus x dash minus 1 by x minus x dash del del dash p x dash substituting this identity we can write potential at the x pi x x dash 1 by 4 plus not rho x dash dv dash x minus x dash magnitude plus 1 by 4 epsilon naught del dash p x dash divided by x minus x dash dv dash minus of the del dash p x dash of 
multiplied by the 1 divided by x minus x dv' dx. and using the Gauss theorem we can write del of the a dv a dot ds and here the second terms is 0 because for the entire surface it is 0 so because all dipoles are equal and if the resultant is 0 so the potential of the x equal to 1 by 4 plus not rho x dash dv dash divided by x minus x dash and the last term is minus 1 by 4 plus not del dash px dash divided by x minus x dash dv so we can take the common lcm is there x minus x dash bar so the phi x minus x dash 1 by 4 plus not integration of the rho x dash minus the del dash p x dash of the dv dash divided by x minus x dash so this is just like a potential for a new types of the charge density and that is rho dash x dash equal to the rho x dash minus del dash p x dash here that is also include the dipoles here so the net charge density is rho dash equal to rho 3 minus del dash p and the we know very well that the relation between the electric field and potential is the e equal to minus del of the del of the phi so the del dot e equal to rho dash by the epsilon naught that is the Maxwell equations so here this is equal to the rho minus del dot p by the epsilon naught so now we can conclude the results first in the presence of the dipoles the dielectric media the effective charge density is rho minus del dot p where rho is the free charge density p is the dipole moment of the dipoles next electric displacement vector we know very well that t equal to f naught e plus p hota hai so here we can rearrange the equation 9 del of the f naught e equal to the rho minus del dot p we can rearrange the del terms on the left hand side so del of the f naught e plus p equal to rho and the bracket terms is the d so del dot e equal to del dot d equal to the rho where d is the electric displacement vector so this is the important conclusion of this result is that in presence of the dipoles the net potential or you can say the net charge density is behaves just like the relation of these two number one that is the free charge density which also conclude includes the dipoles so the net charge density is rho dash equal to rho minus del dot p so we can this can be treated as in form of the dipoles because it plays the major roles so this is all about these dipoles in the dielectric media thank you thank you very much for today we will meet on the next day